Okay. Hello everybody! Everyone. Welcome yeah. to my let's play of Minecraft. My name is Katina. I am going to be playing Minecraft. No, it's You're going to be watching me, it's going to be great. Alright, um, Minecraft. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically this little indie game developed by uh, one guy called Notch. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking and load a world. It's building terrain. Uh, in Minecraft, basically, the world is made of blocks and every single time you start up a new game it randomly generates a world and it creates something new every single time so you'll never get the same world, anything like the same world twice You know, um, it also randomly generates these things called biomes and they're new um, you can see <laughs> a pretty good example of biomes here because what you've got is you've got desert and you've got uh, snow and ice uh, <laughs> some people think that looks stupid uh, I personally, I don't mind it it looks kind of quirky, kind of interesting, not very realistic, but hey, it's made of, it's well made of blocks, it's not going to be very realistic. Okay. Alright, so this is my spawn area. Every single time I die, which will probably be often, I will return to this, this spot right here, um, meaning I'm going to have to build a base around here. Uh, and the main reason for building a base is because Minecraft operates on a, a day-night cycle. I'm just gonna put these blocks down to mark where my spawn is roughly. Yeah, Minecraft operates on a day-night cycle. Um, you can see the sun here; it's rising because it's the first day. Uh, it will go all the way Whee, down here, uh, <laughs> approximately. Oh, what's that? It's a tree over in the distance. You can see the world rendering. That uh, looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, so once it reaches there. Oh, there, wherever the other side of the world is. The sun will set and it will become nighttime. And at nighttime, the beasties come. Yes, that's right. It's just not all fun and games and blocks in Minecraft. There is a threat. And this threat is zombies and uh, skeletons and spiders and strange green things that explode called creepers. Um, no doubt you'll be getting an example of some of those very shortly. So every night, unless you're protected by some kind of structure which you build yourself, you'll get killed repeatedly by these uh, beasties and you'll drop all the stuff you're carrying. Quickly explaining, um, you see down at the bottom there is a little like toolbar inventory thing. That's basically what you can have in your hand so you will just kind of, you scroll up and down. That's my fist, my pink fist. And if you press I, like here, that, that's me. It looks so much like me. Can't even begin. All those things on his knees, um, best not to ask. And you have this kind of simple crafting area. Basically with crafting what you do is you drag and drop things like this, uh, put it in here. Depending on how you arrange them, it makes things, which are very useful. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of holding down left mouse button to smash up this dirt, so now I'm holding some dirt. And dirt is useful because it's good what I'm going to build my first house out of. And that there, that is a sheep. That is a cow. And uh, there's probably going to be a chicken around here. I can't bother to find one for you. But yeah, these are... Oh, there's a pig. These are the wildlife that inhabit Minecraft and they do various things. Like, if I were to punch this sheepy... Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> He's naked! And I have a block of wool, which can be used uh, in various different ways when I craft things to make things. Uh, this pig, if I if I bash him in the rear with my dirt, it, he will drop some bacon. And if I, if I eat the bacon, I will get more life. Because you can see down here the hearts. That's my life. Um, I lose hearts, lose life if I fall. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> look at that. If I were to fall down here, see? Why did I do that? That was stupid. It was for the purposes of uh, illustration. Um, oh, these stairs are not perfect. Yeah, I lose life and I can regain life by doing things like eating the bacon, like I said, or eating like bread. More complicated things that you have to make. I've never really done that. Um, I mean, you get it back, but once you run out, obviously you die, you respawn, I would respawn over there, where my little block is. So, hopefully, if uh, if you never 
seen this game before, you kind of now have an idea what it's about. If you have seen this game before, you're like, shut up. I know everything. Uh, I'd like to apologise. Okay, so what I'm going to do... <laughs> what are you doing? What I'm going to do first is I'm going to build a little house around here. I'm also going to get some wood because with wood I can make crafting benches. I can make tools. It's very helpful because in Minecraft there's no real objective. It's, it's like a big sandbox. <laughs> Literally. Um, so basically different people get different things out of it. Like some people like to get really great armor because you can have armor actually. Armor goes here when you make it. You can get really great armor, really great weapons and go around bashing all the beasties. <laughs> Hi buddy. Or you can mine because there are like natural caverns and resources, loads of things like diamond and lava and gold and iron and fun things like that. Um, you can be that kind of person or you can be an explorer because the randomly generated world likes to throw up some really really cool structures and a bunch of people just love exploring and taking a look around and seeing what they can find. That is actually what I'm going to be doing mostly. Um, cause I'm a, I'm a non-violent person, mostly. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna build my home base, gonna get, like, the basics up, and I'm gonna, after that, I'm gonna pick a direction, and I'm gonna go. And it's gonna be, uh, fun, because you'll get to see quite a lot of what Minecraft has to offer in terms of, like, diverse landscapes, beautiful, illogical structures, much like, <laughs> like, crazy desert and yeah but the problem with that is if I die I would get returned to this uh, this little area here the spawning area in which case you know I'll have uh, lost everything so when you die you drop all your stuff I've dropped all my stuff like a, a million miles away I have to start again but that's no problem because that is fun so that's why I'm building a base with it if I if I die because I've done that before you know I've I've been adventuring for a very long time. I died. I uh, I respawned. Um, the sun was setting, which is was very pretty but very frustrating. Uh, and then um, I got attacked by spiders, and I tried to dig myself a little hole in the ground to protect me. And I waited for hours, and I thought it was daytime. It was daytime, and I uh, unblocked myself and a spider jumped on me and killed me and then I kind of lost my patience with this game. So I am back into Minecraft now after not playing it for a while so I do apologise if I try to do something stupid like making a, a crafting table out of logs as I did earlier that I would not put that past me. Okay, well this is going to be my dirt house and let's look at the sun. The sun, yeah, the sun is approaching there. So I better hurry up if I don't want to be murdered. Oh, Placing the blocks wrong. It's a, it's a terrible thing. Oh, I probably can't afford to make this too big right now. That'll stay there. Yeah, sand has different physics. Oh, different physics to other blocks because sand and gravel. I'll show you an example of gravel later when we come across it. Sand and gravel uh, fall if they have nothing underneath it, as you would expect them to, because like they're little tiny particles. Um, so yeah, if you if you're mining and you have sand and gravel over your head, what for whatever reason, because you just mined out the block under it, you're gonna die. That's never happened to me, but it could. All right, um, by putting these logs in this little crafting square, I get uh, like wood planks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and convert all of this um, into planks. When you get to 64, that's like the maximum for a stack. That's a lot of wood. Alright, and by placing this wood in a square, I get a crafting bench. Yay, which I'm now going to place daintily in a corner. Uh, right. I'm just going to... Oh, I've run out of dirt. No. That's so bad. What do you think, cow? Are you disappointed? I am disappointed. And, yep, I always get all antsy when the night approaches and I'm, I don't have any kind of shelter. I feel terrible. 
gets my my pulse up. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. You know, I could be playing like some horrific shooty video game where I'm being assaulted from all sides by molding zombies, and it's like, hey, this is cool, this is fun, but you know, as soon as the sun starts going down in this blocky game, I'm like, ah, my life is over. Just trying to find your house and panicking is is a horrible thing. And then the relief when you actually find it is, is a wonderful thing. This game makes you get all emotional and and stuff. Oh god, it's going dark. For no reason. Like, because of nothing. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, the sun is going down. It's, it's pretty, but also kind of frightening. Oh, I'm such a girl. But yeah, I, I am female, if you were wondering, and not like some ten-year-old boy. Often people get confused. This disappoints me, and I, I am uh, British. I'm not just <laughs> trying to be posh. Damn. Hopefully I have enough Ooh, to complete this horrible little mud hut. I'm just gonna... Here we go! Oh god, it's dark. And I don't even have a torch. Okay, well that's gonna have to be the end of my first episode. No, I no. hope you've enjoyed it. And stay tuned because there will be another one along shortly. Thank you very much. Um, I've been Katina. You've been wonderful. Good night.